Welcome to An Academy. I am Krishna Verma, your educator, and in today's lesson, I am going to discuss the stages of combustion in compression ignition engine. We generally consider four stages of combustion, and uh, these four stages are representing the complete combustion process of compression ignition engine. So let's start our lesson. these are the contents of today's lesson i will discuss the stages of combustion in compression ignition engine as well as the actual pressure crank angle diagram for the compression ignition engine so let's start our lesson uh, this is the working of four stroke compression ignition engine basically as we know in the in the working of compression ignition engine in this compression ignition engine we generally consider four stroke intake stroke compression stroke power stroke and exhaust stroke so in this compression ignition engine generally uh, the air enters into the cylinder during the uh, suction stroke and uh, this is the intake stroke or suction stroke then air is compressed by the piston during compression stroke uh, so the pressure and temperature of the air is increased during this compression stroke and at the end of this compression or the compression stroke the fuel enters into the cylinder or the combustion chamber uh, with the help of fuel injector you can see the fuel injector here so the fuel enter uh, fuel will enter because of the fuel injector and it mix up with the high temperature high pressure air the temperature and pressure of the air is increased during the compression so during this process or the expansion stroke or power stroke uh, uh, after or at the end of the compression stroke in this uh, process uh, the this fuel mix up with the high pressure high temperature air and uh, this fuel ignite because of the high pressure high temperature air uh, with the help of self ignition temperature because the self ignition temperature of this fuel the fuel used in compression ignition engine is diesel so so the self ignition temperature of diesel engine is generally low compared to petrol engine so here uh, in this process we don't require any spark plug uh, so when this uh, fuel burnt so uh, after that the expansion takes place because of the pressure of the burnt gases and this gases will sweep out uh, from the exhaust valve and this cycle will complete and this cycle will again start from the suction stroke so this is the working of the uh, four stroke compression ignition engine now here we are discussing the combustion in compression ignition engine so we generally consider there are four stages or this combustion is divided into four stages or four parts and uh, uh, this combustion is the combination of these four stages these four stages are ignition delay uncontrolled combustion controlled combustion and after burning the combustion is the combination of all these four processes and this combustion of compression ignition engine is represented by this pressure crank angle diagram this is the pressure crank angle diagram at the vertical side we represent pressure and at the horizontal side we represent crank angle so this is a p theta diagram we generally say this is a p theta diagram for the combustion in compression ignition engine here you can see uh, this graph this uh, uh, this uh, uh, curve this curve you can you are seeing here and there are different point you can see here a b a b c d e these points are representing the different stages and uh, uh, this uh, curve is representing the total combustion in compression ignition engine i will explain one by one all the stages of combustion in compression ignition engine i told you about the delay period so uh, this uh, delay period is also considered as the one of the stage of combustion see i'll start with the first stage of the combustion that is ignition delay here you can see in the pre pressure crank angle of p theta diagram here is p and here is theta so you can see uh, the point a here you can see so this curve ab on this uh, p theta diagram is representing the ignition delay this is the first stage of combustion and this ignition delay uh, generally in this period the fuel start injecting into the combustion chamber 
एट द पॉइंट ए वी जनरली कंसिडर द इंजेक्शन ऑफ द फ्यूल स्टार्ट इन टू द कम्बशन चैम्बर बट देर इज नो इग्निशन स्टार्ट द फ्यूल इज नॉट स्टार्ट इग्नाइटिंग ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड एंड दिस इग्निशन डिले रिप्रेजेंट द टोटल पीरियड बिटवीन द स्टार्ट ऑफ द इंजेक्शन टू द कम्बशन वेन इट टेंट टू स्टार्ट सो वी कैन ऑल्सो से इट इज अ प्रिपरेशन टाइम just before the combustion it is considered as the preparation phase of preparation time and here you can see as per the curve the pressure is increasing continuously because of the volume increase and volume is increasing because of continuous fuel injection and we generally consider the start of this ignition delay is around 15 to 20 degree before top dead center here as per this uh, as per the stages of combustion in spark ignition engine this diagram is same this uh, crank angle is divided into different iterations here you can see the middle line is representing the top dead center and here are different uh, uh, division like 20 40 60 80 20 40 60 80 at this side these are representing the division of crank angle so this uh ignition delay uh, the point a or start of ignition delay uh, we consider at around 15 to 20 degree before top dead center so this process ab is representing the ignition delay now the second stage is the uncontrolled combustion here you can see in this curve the curve bc this curve bc is representing the uncontrolled combustion so when the ignition delay and this uncontrolled combustion process or this stage start at point b see uh, this is the second stage of combustion and as i told you the fuel injection takes place into the combustion chamber for the certain period of time for the certain limit of time so here during this stage this stage is uh, represented by the bc so here as per the curve you can see there is a rise in pressure you can see as per the curve there is a increase in pressure so in during this period the pressure is continuously increasing because of continuous fuel supply or continuous fuel injection or we can say a rapid rise uh, in the pressure in this particular stage and this pressure reach the maximum limit here during this this process the pressure reach the maximum limit at the end of this uh, process in the process bc here in this process bc so uh, this uh, stage is generally represent uh we can say the stage is generally represent the time between when the injection start to the point of maximum pressure here we can say at the point b the injection start and uh, the point c is the maximum pressure uh, point so this is the time between the or this is representing the time when the injection start to the point of maximum pressure in this stage we generally consider uh, the injected fuel is mix up with the high pressure and high temperature air so in this stage we generally consider around 1/3 amount of heat is increased here because of pressure increase and because of the combustion start the 1/3 amount of heat is increased now the third stage is called the controlled combustion and this is represented by cd here you can see this is represented by cd here ab is representing the ignition delay this bc is representing the uh, uh uncontrolled combustion where the maximum temperature reach and here this point cd is representing the third stage of combustion that is controlled combustion and uh, this stage start when high temperature point after uh, 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 when uh, the uncontrolled combustion state reach the maximum temperature point so we can say this stage start from the maximum temperature point and at the end of the stage the pressure in temperature uh, is also too high but less than maximum temperature so when uh, the fuel enters into the uh, combustion chamber during injection period it start burning during this controlled combustion during this curve uh, cd and uh, when it burn 
or we can say uh, the fuel burn completely up to the end of this stage up to the end of the stage at point d the fuel burn completely up, up to this stage now here we are considering the burning or combustion of fuel so because of that we have to consider there is a increase in pressure in temperature but here this increase in pressure in temperature limit is generally controlled by the injection rate of the fuel it is controlled by the injection rate of the fuel see how it has happened so when the temperature and pressure increased by the uh, combustion during this process and as i told you the fuel will continuously supply uh, for a particular period of time so because of this particular or the, this continuous supply of fuel uh, this uh, fuel in contact with the high pressure high temperature air it will uh, it, this uh, fuel will reduce the temperature and pressure uh, or this continuous supply of fuel will reduce the temperature and pressure of the uh, thin layer of air or high temperature and pressure of air so because of that this uh, temperature and pressure limit will uh, in control and you can see here here during in cd uh, there is a decrease in pressure so there is this decrease in pressure is al also considered uh, because of this uh, fuel injection uh, with the high temperature and high pressure air now in in this particular process we generally consider some fuel is some fuel is remain uh, unburnt during the combustion because of the pure uh, poor distribution and the heterogeneous mixture so we don't consider here 100% combustion of the fuel so uh, so the rest amount of unburnt fuel is burned in the four stage we don't consider 100% we consider generally 90% amount of fuel burnt during this process during this process cd and here uh, we generally consider there is a pressure drop during this process so now the fourth process is the fourth stage is after burning process and this is the fourth stage and it is represented by the curve de here you can see the curve de and here you can also see the pressure drop during this process so this is the after burning process and in during this after burning process we generally consider combustion of that remaining unburnt fuel takes place during this after burning process or during this de and here we are considering a sudden pressure drop during this after burning process uh, generally uh, the, in in the combustion or in this com total combustion process we generally consider the combustion is completed in three stages uh, but uh, because of the poor distribution of fuel particles and uh, uh, because of some uh, uh, factors generally uh, combustion continues after third third stages also it is not completed in uh, three stage we require one more stage to complete combustion of fuel and during this stage we consider around 5% of heat goes as the unburnt fuel into the exhaust wall and we consider 90 95% around fuel burn completely during the actual process of the combustion in compression ignition engine so these were the four stages of combustion of compression ignition engine and this is the graph p theta diagram which is representing the complete combustion process of compression ignition engine Thank you so much and please subscribe the channel for more lectures.